we should be ready to bring in a title and um, have that intro title and credit line uh, or credit title at the very end of your uh, project. Now to access a title you have to click on graphics and titles right there and it's actually here under the effects menu so when you click on it when you access uh, it's gonna pull it up you can browse for a template that's already uh, been uh, created for you. Now anytime you need to access one of these menus right here you just have to close one and then click on another one click access it then close it and bring it in. Basically for this class you're going to work with the effects menu and the essentials graphics. You're not going to touch the rest of them. So under essential graphics we can scroll down and find a title and I think this is a title that I like, just basic and clean. But before we bring it in, let's go back into our timeline uh, or the sequence menu, select it, command A, click and drag, move it away from the beginning of your track and then from there click on the title and drag it within your sequence. After you drag your title, wait for it to be placed, bring your cursor on top, double click on it to access it. You can either double click inside the text here or double click right by it to give it the title or give it the name. I'm gonna name it Freedom and you can play with it, you can boost it up a tiny bit, you can make it fit more inside the um, the, the screen right there. Um, just you can change the font color, the font style, you can play with it and do a lot of cool things with it. So um, I don't really have time to play with these cool things that you can do, but you do, you can play with it. Uh, just make sure um, the title looks good, clean, and it relates to your movie. That's basically all that I, I care about and all I'm going to pay attention to. When you bring in the title, you see this is Freedom right there. Then let's zoom in. It looks like I have a little dark screen there. I'll take it out. I'll do ripple delete. And then what I want to do is I want to bring in some effects, video and audio effects that are going to make my film look a little bit more captivating, I should say. So I'm going to go to video transitions because I want to have a transition from the title into the film itself. Click on this arrow to access them. There's a long list of transitions. You can just click and play with them. I'm going to use the cross zoom transition. I'll click drag and I place it on top of my title and my video sequence. So if we were to preview it, let's see what it's going to look like. There it is. And I think my title is a little bit too long, so I'm going to bring it in and I'll get rid of this intro. Ripple delete, right click, ripple delete. Then I have a cross there. I'll bring in another transition here. So I'll go to my dissolve transitions and I'll do a cross dissolve, place it, then check it out. You can also adjust the length of your transition. So that's great. And I'll have, I won't have one there. I think it looks all right. I'll just scroll through and I'll bring one more transitions right here at the end where my video kind of goes back to that same world that it came in. So you can um, either, I'll probably use the cross zoom again. Don't use too many transitions because that looks a little bit unprofessional when it's too many of them. Let me place it on top of both videos right there. Mm, let's see what it's... Mm, I don't like the tr this transition there, so I'm going to delete it. And let me try to find another one. Um, let me do a cross dissolve again. I feel like that's going to work better. There it is. Wonderful. Now, we can also bring in some audio transitions and you will see the meaning to them. I'm going to bring in my audio track to the very beginning. So I'll click, drag and bring it in the very beginning of my film. So it starts with music. Maybe not right in the beginning, but a couple of seconds in, right there. So it starts, brings the music in as well. And then I will go to find some audio transitions. So click right there for audio transitions. You don't really have a whole lot. So I'm going to bring in a constant power right there. And then I'm going to place a um, exponential fade right here. 
okay and you can listen to them on another exponential fade right there you can listen to them and see uh, what they do let, let, the, let me go back to the beginning and bring in that constant gain right here uh, the constant power right to the first track right there so it looks like I have a couple of red moments here it means that I need to render my uh, sequence so I'll do sequence render into out wait for it to render remember when it's done rendering it's going to start playing it for you right away I will make sure to preview it in a large window so we can watch it and see what it looks like so give it one second let me pause it go to the beginning click access the menu that you want it to play on and then hit the space under uh, escape so click that enlarge it okay it looks like I am clicked on the title itself but that's all right let's play it. credit line now that ends ends our um, ends our project so let's go find the credit line um, under let's scroll down under essential graphics let's browse for one just find one that you think will work well with um, what you did so let me um, either use that one just any anyone any um, credit line that you think will work it could be just simple so click drag bring it in um, double click on that to access it insert name there so you'll just say film by Kate Stepanuk um, and then bring the names of all the actors that have helped you complete the project let me make this window a tiny bit smaller. Command Z. Make sure you don't click uh, inside your text boxes without any reasons to click. By Kate Stepanuk and then insert title there. Let's say um, main actor uh, by Kate Stepanuk. That's it. We're just going to get rid of that. Um, Again, you would have to delete this extra space there. Click on it, right click, ripple delete. Command S to save it, render it again. Uh, and then you're good to go. You can actually export your project. So I hate that I have to do it in a hurry, but I don't want these videos to get too long. And then it looks like my computer has some trouble working, recording and uh, working in Premiere at the same time. But basically, this is all you need to know in terms of Premiere. It's not difficult. Just play with the software a little bit. Um, and remember those four different menus where you're doing the edits. What are the tools to help you do the edits and the elements that will help you create this short clip, this short video clip for this assignment. Now we will export the project. So let me pause it. To export your project, you're going to do File, and then you'll scroll down to Export, and you will do Media. So remember that File, Export, Media. Here, give it a second. We're going to give it a name. Just make sure you give a name to your project, and I'll say Final Movie. Make sure you know where you're saving it. Right now, it's going under my Boxing Story. I can leave it there, or I can just place it on my desktop. You will need to place it in your folder. Remember that. For Preset, Make sure you leave the one that's by default and under format. This is where you have to pay attention. Make sure it's H.264. So when you open these um, options, pick H.264. That's all you got to worry about. Uh, make sure it's going to export video, audio, uh, general meta metadata, import into project. Okay, we don't have to worry about anything else there. Um, it looks like everything is going in. We don't have any captions, so don't worry about bringing in the captions. Scale to fit entire source. Yep, that's all we need. You're going to hit export 
and you're good to go. Wait for your project to export. Um, and after it exports, I will show you how you need to re-save uh, your project and make it even smaller in size so you can upload it on Canvas. Okay, that's it for this video. I will come back with resaving your project in a second. Um, and um, that's it for today.